Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like pork in that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! I'm just praying the prince comes through so I can nail... Three blondes walk into a bar. You'd think one of them would have seen twist. it. She was 13 if she was today. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn it. Have you been working arson? We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hotshot? Need a buddy? Or look somewhere else. So this is how it's going to be, partner? I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day, hero. Walking into the station with your chest puffed out like a little kid at his confirmation. You wouldn't have given me the time of day. And now you need somebody, and that somebody's supposed to be me. Well, it's not gonna happen. That's quite a speech. I heard you were the strong silent type. You cracking wise, Phelps? No, Biggs. I'm breaking the ice. Just drive, hotshot. much left there never is if the job's done properly you think it was deliberate nah that's real pain in your face they would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance there's no mileage in this hello mike hey hirsch cap this one yeah mike brannigan cole phelps it's okay brannigan his name may be dog shit but there's none in his hand no offense phelps none taken do you have anything the fire started late last night. Stefan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. And they come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. Well, take a look around. Come on, Phelps. Pretending to be dead? Recently serviced. Could be something to go on.
Mr. Stevens, Cole Phelps, and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Don Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. Lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? Yeah, I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. Once with him. You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. Any ideas? All right. Make the call and see if these suburban assholes have an address. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks, ma'am. Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? Hi, Albert. We've caught this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a pardon? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Heater exploded. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Instaheat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Now. 
You're going to stick it out, Carl? I'm going to try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater. Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm an arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. How about the insurance companies write these incidents up as acts of God? Hey, Biggs, is this significant? Regulator Val, good find. Detectives, this is the next door neighbor, Detective Phelps. Can you help? They were supposed to be going away. They won a trip somewhere. But little Henry got sick, so they had to cancel. What are the chances? Do you know who ran the competition? Gulliver's Travel, up on Santa Monica Boulevard. Thanks. You've been a big help. Phelps, the guy across the street. I've seen him before. He likes fire. Hurry, you can still catch him! LAPD! We've got an idea on you, Firebug. Stop right there! What's your name? Herbert Chapman. So you like fires? Some. Watching them or setting them? I don't want any trouble. Turn out your pockets. You're a naughty boy, aren't you, Herbert? I keep myself to myself. Cigarette in a matchbox gives you a five or six minute delay. You want more time, you use a mosquito coil. Don't you, Herbert? You light this fire, Herbert. Hell no. I heard it over the fire radio. It sounded sweet. When you finish following your leads, come and see me at the fire station. I have a theory about this. Will do, Lynch. Take this guy in. We might want him for questioning later. You got it, Detective. Why have you got such a hard-on for this case? If it is murder, it's almost impossible to prove. Fire doesn't leave much evidence. There's no percentage in this. I think it's more than one case. There are house fires, Cole. Accidents, heater fires, gas explosions. There's got to be a reason. The reason is you want to be a star again. Forget it. Give it up. You'll feel better. There's something to this. I know it. What are you talking about? Arson is insurance. It's always been insurance. We still investigate the cases, Biggs. The people in this house are dead. Go soak your head, Phelps. This hero business is a full-time obsession with you. I'm going to make this case. I'm going to rub the department's nose in it. Help me or stay out of my way. You got it? Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. John Cunningham, can I help you, gentlemen? We have reason to believe that the Sawyer family of 4414 Rosewood Avenue 
recently won a competition run by your company. Yes, I remember them. They called up to cancel at the last minute. One of the kids was sick. Very unfortunate. Do you mind if I take a look at that? Here they are, Stephens. The Sawyer family, Rosewood Avenue. Tell us about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. There's not much to tell. They run a promotion. Our promotion's mailing list covers half of LA. So they are not a government agency? <laughs> I don't believe so. Government organizations don't usually get involved in promotions. I'm told the tickets were a prize. Yes, they were. You do a lot of these prizes? Look, there are hundreds of these promotions running at any one time. If you're the lucky guy, you get your name pulled out of a hat. And... While the Sawyer family were supposed to be at Catalina Island, their house burnt down. You consider them lucky. Christ. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you tell me who offered the prize won by the Sawyer family? Sure. Look, there's supposed to be some sort of supervised draw with hundreds of tickets. But the reality is the Suburban Redevelopment Fund calls me every couple of weeks and tells me exactly who has won. Thanks for your help. Uh, no problem. I wish I could do something for that family. You could put round the hat. A few bucks would really help them now. I suppose so. Good. I'll put you down for 50. I could tell you were a Samaritan the minute I walked in the 50? door. 50? Are you? Good man, Cunningham. You're all right. Yeah, I'm great. Poorer, but great. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? Let me guess. You want to check out the suburban address. Great partners must think alike, Herschel. This is supposed to be the registered offices of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. This is an Elysian housing development, Mac. So Elysian is an investor in the Redevelopment Fund. Looks that way. Are we done here, Mac? I've got work to do. Sure, buddy. Thanks for your help. Elysian are investors in the Suburban Redevelopment. So what? If you think I'm putting my pension on the line and harassing Leland Monroe without evidence, you're out of your mind. Lynch says we should visit him at Fire Station 32. Who exactly is this guy, Lynch? Lynch is a legend. You should feel privileged. He doesn't let many people into the inner sanctum. Keep your mouth shut, and you'll learn something about fires. We came as soon as we could. Lynch. Biggs, you two investigating the house fire on Kenmore Avenue as well? Yep. Why? I had to look around the place while I was out there. Do you believe the fire... I deal in facts, Phelps. Evidence of an explosion. No obvious sign of accelerants. Wiring looks intact. Come and take a look at this. Is the heater from the Sawyer fire out? Yes, it is. Huh. Looks like it was recently serviced. I have a theory, and it's a theory only. I don't have enough evidence to prove... Al, if you say it so, we're listening. Okay, Phelps. You're a bright penny. You have a gas supply. You have a Bunsen burner as a pilot light. You have a regulator valve... And the balloon represents the gas expanding in the room. 
Now, the gas has to make contact with the mosquito coil to form an explosion. Let's see if you can work out the chain of events. The gas bubble needs to be next to the coil if it's going to ignite. Good, your regulator's in position. Okay, I'll light your pilot and turn the gas on. You pull the lever on the left to turn on the gas. Whew. So that's how it's being done. Maybe. There could be a fault with these valves. I've adjusted this one for our experiment, but you need to take it to InstaHeat and see what they say. Their headquarters is on North Harvard Boulevard, number 262. Thanks, Albert. You're welcome, Biggs. See you at the next show. You know the way. You can drive. Bye. Where are we headed? Show? The next fire. We should go to the factory and see how many of these things are going bang in the night. You know this Chapman character? The guy's a freak. Loves fires. He's the kind of guy that we'd like for a lot of things, but we don't really have any credible evidence to pursue him with. LAPD detectives, ma'am. We need to speak to someone in charge. I see. Well, duty manager for today is Mr. Rasick. You should find him in his office. I just don't know how to New do and improved people. model. They'll be selling these like hotcakes. Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson. We're investigating a couple of house fires. What can you tell us about this? Pressure regulator from a Model 70 here. Yeah. Let me take a look. We have a problem. This has been tampered with. What? You see this diaphragm? It forms a seal across the saddle here. Gas flows across from here to here. The diaphragm regulates flow. It's been reversed. It's a subtle change, but it means the gas never closes off properly. So you're telling me that this is not a manufacturing fault or service repair? I don't think there's anything inherently wrong with the design. You're telling me that you've never had any problems with this heater? Look, we've changed the design since the Model 70. These things are still being installed? It's the demand. None of us could keep up with the amount of housing going up. At the budget end, we're still using some of the old stock. We are installing 100 heaters a week. They're not all faulty. They're not all safe, either. Are these diaphragms prone to failure? They uh, tend to go after a while. The rubber lasts quite a few years and then it perishes. So the guy's names that I've been seeing doing the repairs on the heaters, they're fully licensed and accredited. Sure, of course they are. I think you're lying, Rasik. I think some of your men aren't fully licensed. You're desperate to cover your sales. And how are you going to prove that, Detective? Name me one of my guys who would have overlooked a fault like this. What about Reginald Varley? You know about Varley. He's on the run for a divorce interstate. It's not so bad. You in the habit of hiring criminals, Rasik? I need guys, Detective. This boom is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. 
I want you to get me a copy of the list of your installers. Okay, I'll get it for you. There, around a dozen of them. Housing business is going crazy at the moment. This is a long shot. We are not going to rouse that whole list. I want to run it by R&I, cross-reference for arsonists. See if any of these guys have any previous. Sir, I need to use your phone. Go right ahead. Well, you don't see that every day. Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, badge 1247. I need to know if any of the following names have a previous criminal history. Okay, detective. Run the names. Acevedo Ernesto, Clemens Walter, Elgram John, Gable Leroy, Kellegrew Peter, Kuttner Robert, Limehouse Albert, Manning Franklin, Neves Raymond, O'Brien Thomas, Ryan Matthew, Spurgeon William, Varley Reginald, Zurich Stephen. Clemens Walter. Previous conviction for arson and malicious damage. Burned down a house in Westwood in 1942. Four-year jail term. Thanks. Ryan Matthew. Charged for contempt of court. Attempted murder. Plea bargain down to assault charge. Anyone else? There is a Reginald Varley wanted for murder by Detroit Police Department. Thanks. You've been a big help, young lady. Your employment roster is quite the rogues gallery, Mr. Rasick. Desperate times indeed. Do you have an address for Clemens? He's uh, working on an apartment building on uh, Catalina and Third. What about Ryan? Currently working at a housing development on Normandy and First Street. Varley. Where is he? Beverly and Mariposa currently working on a new housing development. Hey, Varley's a good guy. You can't harass all my people. These guys have lockers. Yes, they do. But my men have a right to some privacy. Don't you need a warrant or something? Show him and keep quiet. Stay off the moon, shine, Here. Bud. Happy now? Stick around, Mr. Rasick. Clemens is a fellow traveler. Well, some light reading on the merciless capitalist machine. Ryan wants the world to be a better place, don't we all? A company went through thousands of these in the war, still got eaten alive. Barley has a problem with bugs. You know that a mosquito coil takes an hour to burn down, Rasik? No, I didn't know that. It's the favorite choice of ignition by arsonists. Gives them time to get away. You're crazy. He probably lives near the canals in Venice. Mind if I leave you to it? I got work waiting. Three birds. Clemens, Ryan, Varley. Where to, Phelps?
LAPD. We want some answers and we want them quick. Okay, okay. What's this all about? Just tell me what you want. You know Reginald Barley? No. Can't say I do. Detroit PD is after Reginald Barley for murder. We want us to run you in for aiding and abetting Clemens. Whoa, 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 whoa. All I know about Barley is he gets kickbacks from some developer. Does their work first. Spreads it around if you can. You were licensed and worked for Instaheat? I contract for them. So what? Instaheat hires arsonists, does it? I've worked as a fitter all my life. Put everything I had into that house. And my fucking mud shark of a wife gets awarded it in settlement. She's blowing spicks two at a time while I'm at work. And she gets the house. Yeah, I burnt it all right. Set fire to that fucker and watch it burn to the ground. I did my time and I'd do it again. Sorry about the rouse, Clemens. You did the right thing. Do you know Matthew Ryan? No. Don't know the name. You and Ryan are fifth columnists. And how do you figure that, wise guy? What proof do you have? Been following me to meetings? We found a pamphlet in your locker, Clemens. We can add your name to the register. Huack might want to interview you. That shit was from Ryan. He's always pushing that shit on people. Drives me nuts. He's got it in for the company. All right, Clemens. You're off the hook for the moment. Can I get back to work now? Let's get out of here, Phelps. He ain't our guy. Can you drive to this one? So where do you want to go? Farley's on the run. He might be packing heat. If he's wanted for murder, I say we take the doubt out of the equation and let him have it. You nervous? It's been a while. You were in combat. In 1917. You know, I never fired my weapon in the line of duty. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I hope your piece is still serviceable, Herschel. I may be old and out of practice, but I'm still a Marine, Phelps. <laughs> it would be better for our case if we could bring him in, Herschel. LAPD, Varley! Stop or I'll shoot! Come on, Barley! You can't keep running forever! You run all the way from Michigan, Reginald? Stop, or I will shoot! Why did you run from us, Varley? I'm gonna take a wild guess that you're the same Reginald Varley the Detroit police have an outstanding warrant on. How am I doing so far? I need a lawyer before I talk to any of you. Reginald Varley, you're under arrest for committing a series of arsons. You're also under arrest for murder. Detroit PD will be putting in a request for your extradition. Until then, your guest is. Arson? You, you can't hang that rap on me. Be quiet. Be thankful we don't shoot you. Are all the cops in this town crazy? Take him away, officer.
Are you Matthew Ryan? Who's asking? Detective Phelps and Biggs, arson squad. Arson? You heard the man. Let's just put this stuff in the car and I'll be right with you. Hold it, Ryan. I said, son of a bitch. Those are GI's backyards he's crashing through. The damage is only cosmetic. He's a one-man wrecking ball. Move in. I'll take out the bear. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. He's going to kill those men. They'll get out of the way. Only if they hear it coming. Close it, Phelps. We need to take Ryan down before he hurts somebody. It's no good. We need to get closer. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Hands behind your head. Why did you run, Ryan? I was scared. You got a reason to be scared, Ryan? Matthew Ryan, I'm arresting you on suspicion of committing a series of arsons. We have three suspects. As much as I'd like it to be, Chapman, I think it's one of the other two guys. Let's get to the station and close this case. KGP L2, any central unit, meet the officer, a hit and run felony at 6th and Alvarado. Any unit able to handle, code 2, identify. jitters again. I have two suspects. Phelps, you got nothing. Biggs, Ryan's waiting for you in interview one. Farley's in two. Hey, Hopkins, you practicing your asshole routine again? Come on, Phelps. I'm gonna make him take me to the pictures tonight. Save yourself some time and get this thing off your chest. <laughs> if that's your opening gambit, you better try again. So you want to change the world, Ryan? Yes, I do. So does every reasonable person. And you're doing your part? Yes, I am. Does that include sabotaging water heaters to destroy a company? I have no idea what you're talking about. This is industrial sabotage, Ryan. It's all part of your campaign. You're delusional, detective. What campaign? Your locker is full of pamphlets. Clemens told us how you were always foisting them on people. Sure. I spread the pamphlets. A guy has to do something. Insta-heat heaters break down every day. They're still peddling the same lousy design that they lifted from Hephaestos. Insta-heat bought out Hephaestos? Them, Vulcan, Pyro, and a bunch of other companies. And you still work for them? A guy has to work. And the directors of the company. How do you feel about them these days? You work it out. You know how to reverse a diaphragm in the regulator valve of a Model 70 heater? No, I don't. If you know enough to do your job, you know enough to do that repair. You're lying, Ryan. And how do you think you can prove that? Your boss at Instaheat said that you've all been trained to do it. It's a common repair. Are you calling him a liar? Okay. So I know how it's done. But what would be the point? You'd just end up with a gas leak and then a small fire when you turn the pilot back on. And if you didn't reset the pilot and the gas spread, what was the cause of the fire in your own home, Ryan? I won't tell you. 
What can you tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nothing. I think Suburban is a front for your anarchist buddies. They're arranging for people to be out of town while you burn their houses down. Suburban? What's that got to do with me? That's Farley's bilk. He's the one with the cozy agreement with those fascists. You have a history of violence. I have no such thing. You were charged with attempted murder, Ryan. It was a court case. No criminal liability was the verdict. They said that they couldn't have known that the faulty heater installation would cause a fire. All I know is I lost my whole family. And the company that was responsible got away with it. What would you do? Which company? As Fastos Water Heater Company. That's it for the moment, Ryan. So I can go? Sure. As soon as your red friends storm the building and carry you out, you'll keep your seat until we decide how long to lock you up for, knucklehead. You think those vice boys get any on the side? I think Ryan is our man. A procedure says we eliminate all of the suspects. Let's speak to Varley. That bum took a swipe at me. We have Going Matthew Ryan in custody, south. Varley. I think all we need to do is ask him about this, and he'll write you out. Fuck Ryan, that pinko bastard. Have you ever worked on a place on Rosewood Avenue? Family by the name of Sawyer? Maybe. I, I'm from out of town. I go where they send me. I, I, I don't do a lot of repairs, though. I'm flat out on new installations. Why are you lying to me, Barley? If Suburban wants their new installations completed, why are you bothering with Rex like the Sawyer house? So I'm lying just because I can't remember if I was there or not? <laughs> How can you prove that I was? Your name is on the inside door of their water heater. Okay. You got me there. Suburban, yeah, they wanted that guy out. Sawyer kept complaining about not being able to get his heater service, so they threw in a free service as a sweetener. I think he played him, though. Because he still wouldn't sell. Word is, you're in the pocket of some property developer? <laughs> Never. I got principles. <laughs> How did Suburban put the squeeze on you? Did they find out about your record? There's no way you can link me to Suburban. You're wasting your time. Ryan says you offered to cut him in on the kickbacks they were offering. He'll testify in court. Suburban, they got real-time pressure on getting some of the big developments finished. There's some big date that they can't afford to miss. So yeah, I took their money, but so did a lot of guys, all right? Carpenters, electricians, plumbers. It's no big conspiracy. What would reversing the diaphragm of an Instaheat Model 70 do? Yeah, I made that mistake before. You get a big bang when you turn the pilot back on. So you didn't deliberately sabotage the water heater at the Sawyer house? No, I did not. You out of your mind? I don't believe you, Varley. I think Suburban wants homeowners who don't want to sell out of the way. I think you're out of your mind. Where is the evidence that I have done anything to contribute to this fire? Arsonists use cigarettes and mosquito coils as time delay fuses. We found an open box of mosquito coils in your locker. Well, hang on. Those things, they belong to Ryan, all right? He asked me to hold them because his locker was full of stupid pamphlets. I thought he used them for camping. We're done for now. So what happens? You're either going back to Detroit to face a murder rap we're staying here to answer for these arsons. They say we bust in there and find the goddamn. Guy gave his wife a tap. Matthew Ryan, I'm charging you with committing a series of arsons and for the murders of Hank Sawyer. Edwina Sawyer, Henry Sawyer, and Jessica Sawyer. You're putting an innocent man away here. 
Do you hear me? I didn't set any fires. I didn't kill that family. Phelps, what you did to your wife and kids was not American. My wife threw me out. Did I ask for your opinion? You're here to listen to mine. What I was going to say before I was interrupted was you did a good job on the Stefan Sawyer case. We don't often get results in arson, so well done. What about me? Do I get a little stamp by my hand or a lollipop or something? What you get is another case. A bad one, unfortunately. House fire. Bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is 650 North Hobart. That bum took a swipe at me. I put him down. With my... You ought to meet Joe's buddy. He's nice. Rancho Escondido. Are we having a conversation, Biggs? Okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Hirsch. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burnt to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. The developer's gonna have some very angry customers. Any available unit, meet the officer. Shoot about just jet. occurred. The arson and desk could be trying to mail that something. This is the code two we still in custody, Herschel. Want to bet? Bella kicked the moose already. And hoping for Mr. Me with cigarettes and matches. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Okay. Anything else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? I think they've been moved. Moved? I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. They wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? What are they doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. The muscles and tendons contract. Another day, you ever think about how many one. people have died in this world and how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them, Biggs? No, I have not. Show some respect. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. 
So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? It might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. There's very little evidence. Evidence! Albert, check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Sure, Phelps. I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating the pigs. So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. You getting this? You remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was on that list. Christ. We should take a look around, work the neighbors see what they know. I'll go across the street. Okay, I'll try this side. I haven't done this for years. You don't look like a fireman, son. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fire should end now. They have served their purpose. All the fires are only beginning, doctor. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Everything will be erased. The world will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. Looks like the same model. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Brand looks distinctive. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. I wouldn't know that imprint anywhere. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? 
foreman, Dudley foreman. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbors you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. You sure, Mr. Foreman? There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy had hair. You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. Their billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. That stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away to Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I could get it for you if you like. That would be great. Any luck, Cole? A couple of things. What did you pick up? Hold a piece of paper. Looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Paper crane. There's a legend about them. You fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? For Elysian Fields developments. Oh, I see you already have one. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. I swear, this town... I need an address for a property developer. Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. If you have a message, contact Captain McKelty immediately. Thanks. Can you put me through, operator? Of course. Here you are. Commander? Leads on the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. You're about to do what? Leland Monroe? He's a personal friend of the mayor and the chief. Are you out of your mind? I'm warning you, Phelps. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. You have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Good. Have a report on my desk today. Kelty has warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go.
a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. I'm not going to tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not This is safe, America, dickhead. Sir. Now step back or I'll lock you up for Smart a fray. son of a bitch. Come on, then. I'm going to beat you. That's not a cool. We're going to have to pacify this poor set. God damn it! Busted you right in the mouth! Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay, then. See if there's anything left to take a look at. The mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? And expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. If we're paying a visit to Alicia and ruining my career, let's bite the bullet and get on with it. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. All right. Where to? Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? We're the police, lady. We don't need an appointment. Can I tell him what it's about? It's an official investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. And that's our cue. Thanks, ma'am. May I help you, gentlemen? We would like to speak to Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? I find that offensive. You have every right to. This is getting us nowhere, miss. Casino. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. I wonder how many more layers we got to go through to get to this guy. You like a cigar? Drink, boys. Sure, I'll have a scotch. Biggs! We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. It's terrible, boys. How can I help? Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. We found a family burnt out in their home. 
another house burned to the ground, another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? Point is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? What do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Level with me, Mr. Monroe. You know all about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? You've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. <laughs> are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. That's the American way. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. You're lying, Monroe. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Life. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? The arsonists, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. The contractors I use for waybills, do you suppose there could be any of them? I have a list of their names, if it'd be of any help. That would be very helpful, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Glad to be of help, officers. What's the story? Any of these names ring a bell? Herbert Chapman is on this list. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Your boss is a fine man. You lousy bastard. Operator, give me dispatch. Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let me find out for you. He was released this morning, detective. Damn. I'm sorry, detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you.
Rescue Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Thanks. Well, I love the chase till the minute I win it. A beautiful face to learn love for me in it. Give me your heart and baby I'll bill it. Cause I always kill the things I love. Some Buy me a drink, Cole. No. Not even for old time's sake. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here? I wouldn't give you the pleasure. We'll get around to it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about... the threats for someone who cares about the boy. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. I should have known that you were playing errand boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. The message about Monroe? Yeah. Earl delivered it. You? McKelty. He started making noises about my pension. Sorry about that, Herschel. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe was an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGPL calling car 11K, 11K. 11K, go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. You fought at Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has, uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? Or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. We're looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him, too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. There's some kind Let's of problem. Let's take a look at the car. Let's see what he's hauling around. Motive, opportunity, and hard evidence. Should revise the APP. He's clearly armed. Definitely gives him opportunity. Holy cool. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. He's seen us. Cops! Again! Son of a bitch, he must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. I'll call this in, get some cars dispatched. 
Tower 11K calling KGPL. Go ahead, 11K. 11K requesting assistance. In pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar, currently heading east on Melrose Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. See if he can damage one of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Step on it, huh? Give me just a little closer. Hold him tight, Cole. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be... End of the line, you little prick. Come on, Cole. Looks like we have our man, Cole. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. There seems to be more to this than a personal vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. I don't see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. Well, the evidence is good for Chapman. It's hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Nice work, gentlemen. You put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? We'll be calling Richard Nixon a crook next. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California fire and life. You worked for a lesion? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He is a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Elsa, you could take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. I really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Mr. Kelso? That's what the sign on the door says, miss. And there's no need to come into the office, Ms. Lichtman. If you accept the settlement, all you need to do is sign here. 
I don't accept this. What settlement. do you mean you don't accept? I think you're pushing your luck, lady. This seems to be a ridiculously generous settlement. A two hundred dollar policy with a twenty thousand dollar payout? You should I don't want the money. What do you mean you don't want the money? I want you to investigate this case. I feel my friend may have been the victim of foul play. Okay. Let me get the case file. There's got to be more in these files. Sounds like your friend took a hell of a fall. I'm sorry for your loss. Do you mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Of course not. What basis do you have for your claim of foul play? Lou Buckwalter was a craftsman. I don't believe he would have made a roof that would collapse. You want me to reopen this case based on your woman's intuition? That isn't going to happen. Take the money. I've already told you I do not want the money. There's something wrong with that house. You and Buck Walter weren't married? No. Then how did you become his beneficiary? We were family friends. You expect me to reopen this case because you come in here walking that walk? Well, I'm not buying it. I think you should tell me what the hell is going on. Do you really want to know? Yes. We were interned together on Ellis Island, resident alien Germans whose parents had been killed by Nazis. Do you see the irony in that, Mr. Kelso? We spent four years there. So the roof collapsed, accidents happened. What exactly are you trying to achieve here, Ms. Lichtman? Exactly what I said. I want that building thoroughly investigated. I'm intrigued, Miss Lichtman. I really am. But you're going to have to give me something if you want me to get involved in this. There is a conspiracy surrounding Elysian Fields and the new houses they are building. I believe your insurance company is involved. That's pretty heady stuff, Miss Lichtman. Flimsy, but heady. I've told you what I know, Mr. Kelso. What are you going to do about it? All right, Miss Lichtman. One final question. Yes. What's your address? Is that the usual? Is there anything usual about this case, Miss Lichtman? The address is on the letter, Mr. Kelso. The address? But not the phone number. Mr. Benson would like to see you in his office, Jack, upstairs. Come on, I'll walk you up. I'll be in touch. of makeup. Mr. Benson, you wanted to see me? Ah, oh, yes, Jack. I'm just trying out a new putter. I noticed Elsa Lickman in the lobby. It's the weirdest thing, Mr. Benson. Call me Curtis, Jack. This is California. Like I said, Curtis, this is a very strange case. How so, Jack? That lady, Elsa Lichtman, is refusing a 20 grand payout. Elsa Lichtman is hardly a lady, Jack. She's a jazz musician. Plays at the Blue Room in Hollywood. 
She has a fine pair of lungs, now that I think She's of it. She's the beneficiary of this guy, Lou Buckwalter. He was killed in an industrial accident working for Elysian Fields Developments. You know Elysian? I'm familiar with Leland Monroe. We move in similar circles. Well, Ms. Lichtman is making some pretty serious accusations. She says the case stinks and that She's a very happened. highly strung girl, Jack. Strung out might be a better way to put it. It's a pretty generous payment, Curtis. I think I should look into is it. Is there anything wrong with the paperwork, Kelso? No, there isn't, Mr. Benson. I didn't think so. Pay the case out and get her off our backs. I can't make her take the money, Deal sir. Deal with it, Jack. Do your fucking job. Do I have to do everything? No, sir, you don't. Fine, Jack. Fine. You know I have the greatest confidence in you. Thanks, Mr. Benson. Two peanuts are walking down the street. Your car, Mr. Kelso. Thanks, kid. That's not how my pop taught me to mix it. Someone is cutting corners. Bulldozing and starting again. Leland Monroe, the man with the grin. Looks like he doesn't like to be disappointed. Hey! You just can't be walking around down here. I'm Jack Kelso, from California Fire and Life. I don't care if you're from the Vatican. Buzz off! I'm investigating the accidental death of a Lou Buckwalter, and... You deaf? Do I have to beat on you? Looks like you do. You're... <laughs> I came to see the house where Lou Buckwalter died. You were just about to offer to show me the way. It's out the gate and three houses down on the left. Don't know what you're looking for, smart guy. There's nothing there. Then I'll poke around in the rubble. Fine. As long as you're out of my sight. The place falls down, and then they bulldoze it. What gives here? This guy must have escaped from the loony bin. Let's try to piece this together. Keystone Films? Who gets their lumber from a film studio? Shit. 
Jack. Jack Kelso, California Fire and Life Investigator. I need an address on the Keystone Film Company. The address is... 658 North Wilton Place. Is there anything else? No, thank you, ma'am. Hi, Mac. I work for California Fire and Life. I'm looking into an industrial accident. Here? No, not here. At a housing development over on Normandy Avenue. So? I found some lumber over there had the Keystone name printed on it. We've been closed since 41. Never quite made the transition to talkies. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund are pulling the place down. Know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Nix. Mind if I take a look around? I'm kind of hungry. If someone was to leave a couple of bucks here, I might wander down the street and get a cup of coffee. Is there a key to the gate? No. The only guys who go in or out are some delivery guys from Elysian Fields. They're working on a housing development over at Wilton and Santa Monica. You'll have to hop it. one way to keep your costs down. Too bad it won't support a roof. So this is where their lumber comes from? Gotta be something else around here. Wonder what's left in the building. See what the rich and powerful have to say for themselves. The real should be nearby. the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. The Suburban Redevelopment Fund pledges to speed up housing development for returning GRs. Gentlemen, this is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He's our latest investor in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Doctor, this is Curtis Benson. He's vice president of the California Fire and Life. We're pleased to meet you, Doctor. Ray Gordon, editor of the Times. Doctor. District Attorney Don Sandler and Police Chief Warren. Gentlemen. 
I am delighted to be in such exalted company. You're making quite a name for yourself, Doctor, amongst the thespian fraternity. I find that those of artistic temperament are often of a fragile mental disposition. It's a short step from miscreant to recidivism, Doctor. Very true. But I think we could all agree that the City of Angels does rather well basking in the reflection of the motion picture industry. Here, here. And it's something that every sucker getting off a train at Union Station wants a part of. Gentlemen, we're here to sell the American dream, and Hollywood is our greatest advertiser. So, how is your new development selling, Leland? Can I throw them up fast enough, Ray? And that's part of the problem, Leland. Washington is receiving steady complaints. There's a clamor for public housing. God damn it, Ray. Public housing is tantamount to communism. Now that's why we fought this goddamn war. I'm telling you, it's reds via the back door. You can't have it both ways, Leland. The new freeways are being built to service all your developments out in the boondocks. They're all being built with government money. The GI Bill is government money. There's a difference. What difference? The GI money ends up in my pocket. I hope you mean right. our pockets, Leland. We're all investors. Of course, Curtis. So, when will the freeway bond be passed on? It still has to be ratified. It takes a long time to raise $3 billion. I need to find a game well or a telephone. In a great day for the future of Los Angeles, civic leaders and Operator, Los Angeles Police Dispatch, if it's not too much trouble. Putting you through now. This is Jack Kelso, investigator for California Fire and Life. Can you put me through to Curtis Benson, please? Just a moment, please, Mr. Kelso. Jack, how can I help? Do you know anything about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, Mr. Benson? I've heard of them, Jack. Building new homes for GIs with green lumber that was used on movie sets. Jack, are you working the Buck Walter case? Mr. Benson, are you part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Jack, I want you to listen very clearly. Call Miss Lickman. Call her as soon as you hang up. Arrange to see her tonight and get her to agree to the settlement. Do it tonight, do you hear me? Yes, sir. End of story, Jack. I don't want to hear another word about Elsa Lickman or Luke Buckwalter. Can you put me through to Michigan 221? Putting the call through. Hello? Ms. Lichtman, it's Jack Kelso. Yes, Mr. Kelso. I've been looking into your case. Yes, and what have you found? It doesn't look good. I need to see you. Meet me at the Blue Room. I work there tonight. I take a break around 9. I'll be waiting at the stage door. We can talk then. Of you to say, Mr. Kelso. Thank you. And don't suppose I'll make a plea. Cause, baby, you know I'm guilty. What were you doing with him? I was doing what you asked. I didn't ask you to meet him in an alleyway. Why do you snarl at me? 
Your friend came to ask me to accept the insurance. He's not my friend, Elsa. I think he's a brave man, and you have placed him in great danger. You've involved him in something, and he has no idea of the risks. Can you live with that, Cole? Elsa, I need his help, and he hates my guts. Forget the past, Cole. He deserves a chance to say no. If he helps you, let it be on his terms. I'll go see him in the morning. You lose something, Mac? I thought these private eye types were all wise guys with smart mouths. Looks like the snappy repartee has all dried up. Get on with it. What's your hurry, Mac? You got some place to go? You ever do the cat and mouse routine without a gun in your hand? Now that's more like it. Let's put a few. The tough act's easy to play when it's three on three. You to lose some teeth. Let's dance. Don't worry, buddy. I'll lay you out quick. You're a worn tough guy. You should learn to take a hint. Get him downstairs and into the trunk. Sure, he turned up all right. He's wishing he didn't. He's in the trunk. He's going nowhere. The boys introduced themselves. <laughs> what do you want done with him, Mr. Monroe? Yeah, I know a good place. I'll pick up a shovel and a pick on the way. It's up in the hills behind Griffith Park. We'll deal with that German bitch next.
Elsa. Sorry, pal. Desperate times. Must be his blind spot. Monroe owns the city. Owns the cops. I need to find Elsa. Control your car. California drivers. Where are they? Is that the last of them? So you're still carrying that Army 45, Cole. Lichtman. How long have you been sitting there? Not long, Mr. Kerso. You look lovely, Princess. You haven't exactly caught me at my best. It's okay, Miss Lichtman. I'm a big boy. I know how to take my licks. Please, call me Elsa. Okay, Elsa. What can I do for you? I'd like to explain because I... I can join the dots, Elsa. Cole needs your help, Jack. The police department have frozen him out. Look, you're obviously a brave lady, but you can't fight all Cole's battles for him. I just wanted to apologize for... You don't have to apologize. You were right about Elysian Fields. Tell me something. What was Lou Buckwalter's regular job? He was a carpenter. He built sets for Arkeo, Warner Brothers. Set carpenter? Perfect. If you 
don't mind, Elsa, I'd like to get a little rest now. I've got a lot more dots to join, and it's making my head hurt. That's perfectly understandable, Mr. Jack. I hope we can meet again under less dramatic circumstances. I hope so too, Princess. I'd like that. Are you Kelso? Who's asking? Peterson, assistant DA. You're in the wrong building, Peterson. This is a hospital. <laughs> a wise guy. Let me tell you a story, Kelso. Can I get the abridged version? My head hurts. You're a funny guy, Jack. What do you want, Peterson? A colorful character mentioned your name. He said that you might know something about- There's a problem with colorful characters, Peterson. First they send you over a drink, then they buy you dinner, then you get a phone call in the middle of the night for a favor. Try rubbing shoulders with some solid citizens. They're the ones you're supposed to protect. You finished, Kelso? For the moment. I'm gonna run for DA, Kelso. The current administration stinks. And you want me to help? I'm looking for a DA's investigator. You get a gun and a badge and $120 a month. I get $150 a month now. I'm going after the vice squad, Kelso. It's gonna get me elected. I've got something better. How about Leland Monroe? The property developer? Do you think I fell down the stairs? Thanks for the patch up, Princess. It might be the only R and R I get for some time. Remember me? Jack. It's good to see you. You've caught me at a slightly inopportune moment. Can we do this some other time? Back off, Curtis. Move away from the door. Jack, there's no call for that. You're smooth, Curtis. I'll give you that. You try to get me killed and you still manage to be polite about it. Jack, how could you accuse me of having anything to do with that? I want to know all about you and Monroe, Curtis. You give it up or I beat it out of you. Get the fuck out of here, Jack. You're fired. Who do you think you are? Get out of town now while you still have the chance. You have no idea what kind of forces you're dealing with here. I guess we've exhausted the passive options. <clears throat> Sit tight, Curtis. I'm taking a look around. Get all of the stockholders. I need to follow the paper trail. What exactly do you expect to find, Jack? I knew you were in bed with a lesion, Curtis. Now I know why.
I want answers, Curtis. So pay attention. Please, Jack. I'm not a violent man. I don't get it, Curtis. You're vice president of the company. Why take the risk? It's a simple business transaction, dear boy. You're lying, Curtis. Something happened at the company, didn't it? That's why you took the bribe. Bribe? What bribe? How can you accuse me of benefiting ahead of the company? I noticed that the share certificates are in your name, Curtis, not the company's. What did you use as collateral? Those sons of bitches in Sacramento. They passed me over for president. Sent me here because they believed it was a backwater. But they were wrong. Los Angeles will become the capital of the West, not San Francisco. This place will be the city of the 20th century. And I'm going to get my cut, Jack. You're going to jail, Curtis. You and your cronies. We'll see about that, Jack. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. You're talking about the future of Los Angeles. You cannot interfere with these plans. Information, Curtis. Business people who have joined forces to meet the demand for new homes. You're lying, Curtis. They're going to burn those movie sets they call houses, and you're carrying the insurance on them. And how do you prove that, Jack? Rancho Escondido burnt to the ground. California Fire and Life is carrying the paper. Jack, the best result you could get from insurance would be replacement cost. The stakes are much, much higher. Why the big payoff in the Buckwalter case? It was bound to bring it to attention. Who could have predicted this particular confluence of events? Elsa Lichtman as the beneficiary who spurns the cash. The brilliant but flawed detective becoming her lover. And you, Jack, taking their bait. You buy green lumber and use it to build houses. How do you expect it to end? Mr. Monroe has a fine reputation for building houses. What would I know about his choice of building materials? Give me what I need or I'll beat it out of you. <laughs> it's all there in the case file. If you know what to look for. Very neat, Curtis. Maybe I can't work it out, but Phelps can. He may be many things, but he is one of the best detectives the LAPD has ever had. Your card is marked, Jack. You'll have an unfortunate accident if you don't leave town. Your California isn't the same as mine, Mr. Benson. Not at all. How old are you, Princess? Sixteen. Mister? How old are you really? Nearly 13. You take love where you can find it as you get older. Love? That has nothing to do with love, Curtis. Some might find your romantic notions endearing, Jack. I find them very tiring. You're finished, Curtis. That remains to be seen, Jack. I haven't told you about my new job, Curtis. DA's investigator. Who do you think the DA reports to, Jack? Get dressed. You're getting out of here. He's not so bad. He just lays on top of me and grunts for a few minutes. He's kind. And he buys me nice things. Get dressed. You're leaving. She will only come back. I'm just going up to my office, Barty. 
Got to check over some files. Take the elevator. First door on the right when you come out. You know the way, Kelso. Never get into fights, buddy. So, Curtis, what is it you don't want me to see? 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. Insured replacement value for the house is $900. Current value of the house and land is $3,500. Christ, how many of these dumps are we carrying on the books? I have a Detective Phelps of the LAPD here to see you. Have a seat, Cole. Where's the go-between? She's awful easy on the eye for a foreign girl. Does that private dick patter actually work on anyone, Kelso? It's not your style. You were always a little more direct. This is your dime, officer. Would you have helped me if I asked, Jack? Little chuck on the shoulder, shot of Semprify. Fuck you, Cole. Be a man. Why send a woman to do your dirty work? You're a cop. Why do you want my help? I thought a PI might be a little more discreet. I'm no gumshoe. I used to be an investigator for this company before your investigation got me fired. I'm sorry to hear that, Jack. I'm sorry about a lot of things. Is that an apology, Cole? It's a feeble attempt at one, yes. Look, Jack, it's a murder case, and I need help to solve it. So what's it got to do with Elysian Fields' developments? I ran it somehow. The flyers keep turning up whenever I find a domestic fire. They're boosters. Stiffing GIs for deposits, making them wait months for a throw-up house. They're already making more money than they can count. What's turned them into killers? So you believe me. This is why you dragged me into the Buckwalter case. Look, Jack, I'm sorry. But if not for me, do it for some of the poor saps who are dying. Or some of the leathernecks who are getting grifted. How about it, Jack? I know you, Cole. You're still beating yourself up over that metal on Sugarloaf. The metal you think you didn't deserve, but you just don't get it. Nobody deserves a medal. It's just the ridiculous situation you find yourself in and how you react to it. You think you failed up on that hill. But courage isn't a tap you can turn on or off. Courage isn't permanent. It's a tenuous and fickle thing. Courage and cowardice exist in every man. Get over it. You got it off your chest. I guess I have. Can you help me, Jack? I'm thinking about it. The Hall of Records is the place to start. Hello there. The Land Registry Office. Where is it? Just up the stairs. Thanks. I'd like to see the company details of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Certainly, sir. Just this way. All those suburban sons of bitches ought to be listed in here.
Courtney, for God's sake, what's he got to do with this? I'd like information on a plot of land. Okay, do you have the address? Not exactly. It's a new lot. I have the coordinates. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. All right, that makes it a bit more difficult. Come with me. I believe that is in the Wilshire area, here. 34 degrees, 4 minutes, 29 seconds north. 118 degrees, 17 minutes, 58 seconds west. The lot number is 1876988. Unfortunately, that is just the beginning. We have at least a million lot numbers in the Los Angeles area. The registrations are in alphabetical order. You need to convert your lot number to a letter. How do I do that? Over here. Use this adding machine. There are 90,000 entries to a book, so divide your lot number by 90,000. 1876988 divided by 90,000, yes. One million eight hundred seventy six thousand nine hundred and eighty eight. Twenty. A starts at zero, so you want to add one to your number. Twenty one. That number is your letter of the alphabet. Once you have the letter, find the right aisle, and you are in business. You do this every day? Let's see what the site is worth to them. One eight seven six. The book value is three fifty. With the new home in place, the improved value of the property is thirty five hundred. They can make a killing, but how do they pull it off? Know why I plumped for the caddy? The extra trunk space. One thing you learn in the war, boys. You do your talking once the smoke clears. I need a word, Courtney. That's okay, Jack. Y you didn't need to come all the way down It's here. important, Courtney. How can I help? 
Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. What are you talking about? Don't fuck with me, Courtney! Jack, I swear, I don't know what you're talking about. How does your name appear as one of the investors in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? You're out of your mind. I was down at the Hall of Records checking on a property company called Elysian Fields Developments. Their funding comes from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Seriously, Jack, I have no idea. Your name is there, Courtney, with some pretty interesting company. The mayor, the district attorney, some dirty cops, and your buddy, Dr. Harlan Fontaine. Dr. Fontaine? Spill it, Courtney. I want all of it. Fontaine and the rest. Fontaine took the morphine off our hands. Look, Jack, I know you said to get rid of it, but it's okay. I did something good for once. He reinvested the money for us. That's it. That's what's happening. They're building houses for GIs, Jack. I turned a mistake into something beneficial, something that's going to help out the guys. Courtney, they're building matchstick houses. They're going to burn them for the insurance money. They'll probably stiff the poor bastards for the deposits. Please, Jack. Say it isn't so. Harlan's a doctor. A good one. He helps out a lot of people. Looks like he's helping himself, Courtney. You're the fall guy. Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. I appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. Just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready.
going, Jack. As soon as he posts. You think you can hold out? Somebody put the fire on that guy! Step on it. Give it up, chump. I know you're there. Keep your head down! I'm gonna find you! You're surrounded and your buddies are dead! Real clever asshole! I'm gonna find you! Alright man, hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. You're a very sweet-looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! I didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe! Where are you, damn it? You can walk out of here or go out in a box. Your choice. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building.
The Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Dr. Fontaine, I need to speak with you urgently. Sit down, please, sit down. Tell me about the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. It's the fund we are using to channel money into the development of new houses. Why is my name on the board of managers? Technically, you are a major contributor. Please, Courtney. Those houses are a sham, Doctor. They're going to be burned for the insurance. That's a scandalous allegation, Courtney. Do you have any proof? Jack Kelso? An investigator for California Fire and Life has seen them. He was almost killed when he found out what was going on. I don't know what to say. I feel that I have been duped. Who do you think is behind this subterfuge? Jack says it's a property developer named Monroe. He said it goes all the way to the mayor. You cannot have believed that I was involved. I don't know what to believe anymore, Doctor. I hope that you weren't involved. Thank you for your trust, dear boy. Be still, Courtney. All of your troubles are finally over. Let them go. Let them drift away. <laughs> Some sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. of a payroll. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. <clears throat> Elsa. Oh, thank God. Where? <clears throat> Fontaine. Dead? <laughs> Former patient. So that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off Monroe. the rails. <laughs> I don't have a fucking name! He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor! Kelso, you son of a whore! Get me a goddamn doctor!
Jack. There's a statewide APB out on him. Jack's okay. He has something up his sleeve. He's not worried about being caught. So how do we help? We go after the other side of the equation. Jack has a lesion and its cronies running scared. We go after the doctor and some of the other guys. But the whole department breathing down our necks. It's time for action, Herschel. It's time for change. Jack's crossed the Rubicon and we have to be on the other side. Of the Christ, what was that? An explosion. Something big. You think it's the Reds? You think those rusky sons of bitches that dropped the H-bomb on us? Calm down, Herschel. We need to be ready for the call. I'm not waiting for an invitation. Get in the car and head for the cloud. KGPL can give us the details on the way. We have looters around the corner. Cuff them or put them down. We need to get this area under control. Get up the top, you little prick. Get that bastard, Cole. Now ain't that time to be looking for oh. Jesus, I'd never seen nothing like this. I wish I could say the same. It's like a bomb's gone off. Jesus Christ. Poor people. We gotta find out what went down. wasn't nuclear. If it was, we'd all be dead from the radiation. That's reassuring. What's radiation? Everyone inside the factory was vaporized. I mean, look at the size of that crater. What's going on over there? The mayor is going on television, appealing for calm. Television? We're gonna afford one of those things. Anything to go on? You're looking at the remains of Nicholson electroplating. I have an idea of what might have caused the explosion, but I'm only guessing. Have a look around the rubble, see if you come up with anything. Worlds turn upside down, Cole. Then it's time for us to do our jobs. Vaporized. Oh, brother. That's it, Mr. Mayor. We're wrapped. Well, good. Thank you very much, son. I think it went okay. A couple of pickups, sir, but that's to be expected. Nobody's ever done this before. Get better with practice. Sweet heavens. That maybe oh. goes for me too, son. Just made it a little more. Come. What do you think, son? Uh, no, Mr. Mayor, you came across Hey, detective! As, uh, I think I got something here. Resolute. I thought four Vicks was a tough break. Any idea what this is? Looks to me like some kind of machine component. An airplane part, maybe. Looks like all that's left. I can try the laundry tag. Detective, you seen this yet? Come take a look. 
blew the locker open, but shielded the contents. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, only OSS agents use these things. We'll need to get the film developed to see if there's an espionage angle. Any ideas, Herschel? None that I care to utter for public consumption. Tamako Akamato. Japanese name. What is it? A substitution cipher. The Germans used them in the war. These are cipher rings. You know what to do with them? Maybe. I used them in OCS. These first letters are the cipher key. The rest of the message should align itself. North Vermont Avenue. Don't think this is anything. Fred Nicholson. This is your place? What's left of it? 32 years of work up in smoke. Can you tell us what happened here? Our uh, chief chemist, Harold McClellan, was using this area to test the, the new process. And what exactly is this new process? Uh, that's uh, classified information, son. A lot of people died here, Mr. Nicholson. I'm prepared to go to the press and tell them it was your fault. What is the new process? A way to chemically polish aluminum. It's traditionally done by hand. It's extremely labor intensive. The process could be worth millions. Who is Tamako Akamato? Dr. McClellan's personal assistant. She came highly recommended. Akamato was involved in industrial espionage. Was she working for you or for a foreign government? That's a ridiculous assertion. How can you possibly say she was a spy? How many of your other employees carry spy cameras in their handbags? Jesus, Mary and Joseph, she was selling me out. If she wasn't a foreign spy, who could she have been working for? There could be other plating companies. But the big customers for the process are the aircraft manufacturers. Lockheed, Boeing, Hughes, North American. What can you tell us about McClellan? A brilliant chemist. He approached me a few months ago with the idea for the new process. So no one has ever done this before? No, but it's legitimate research. So you thought McClellan could do what no one else could do? You were prepared to take that risk. Look, he is a... was a trained chemist. And his ideas could revolutionize electroplating. Mm. And you would be rich. I'm a businessman. What's wrong with turning a buck? You blew up six blocks! And God knows how many people are dead. I regret that. That's laudable. 
We'll be in touch, Mr. Nicholson. Can you send us Dr. McClellan and Miss Akamato's personnel files? I will if I can find them. By the way, we also found the collar of a shirt. It has a laundry tag. They're likely to be Dr. McClellan. And the majority of people who worked here don't use a laundry service. You think McLaughlin went up in smoke? Or is he still alive? Detective Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? Can you speak to someone at the Army Air Force Base for me, please? Of course, Detective. Tell them I have what I believe is an aircraft part. It's polished metal, light for its size. It looks like a cone of some sort. It's stamped on the inside. P&W Wasp Major R4360. I'll get back to you, Detective, when you check in for messages. Anything else? I need an address for Superior Laundry Services. Closest store to your location is in Wilshire. 4766 Melrose Avenue. Thanks for your help. What do you need? Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We have one of your laundry tags. Can you tell us who it might belong to? Are you kidding? I got work to do, Mac. Here's the customer book. Knock yourself out. Number was uh, J2620, Cole. Who is Hangstrom? Could be someone else from the factory. Does he have an address? No. Dead end. Thank you for all your help, sir. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. I need an address for an Oscar Hangstrom. Checking. No residential listing for anyone by that name, Detective. Sorry. Thanks, ma'am.
Well, well. Why the cloak and dagger routine, Miss Akamato? Somebody turn the place over. You better watch your step. Looks like we have a match. Interesting dame, this Akamoto. What is it exactly? Microfilm. A document shrunk to the size of your thumbnail. Broad must have amazing eyesight. You know what this is, Biggs? Sure. The department gives you one of those when you retire. Do you think I could fit in there? I couldn't fit in there. I'd like to think you would have had something more to say about getting shoved in a fridge, Herschel. One to the head, one to the heart. Point blank. On Jeans Lindbergh. Very expensive watch. Favored by Flyboys. I always wanted one as a kid. That's funny. As a kid, all I wanted was some food on the table. A class ring. Biggs, badge 525. I'll need a couple of black and whites at 133 North Vermont Avenue, Wilshire. We'll need an ambulance in the corner. And probably a team from technical services as well. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Detective Phelps, batch twelve forty seven. Messages, please. You need to call Ray Pinker urgently. Can you put me through? It's ringing now. We're on our way in. Nix that. I got a message from Lindbergh Field. An airplane tech there identified your part. What is it? He said it was a prop spinner from either a Corsair or a B-50. A what? Fits over the center of the propeller and protects the pitch gearing. So it's a military part? Could be, but get this. The Spruce Goose runs eight Wasp R-4360s. I think you better get over there and check it out. We're on it. This is a military project, gentlemen. Can you state your business? Detectives, Phelps and Biggs, LAPD. We're investigating the explosion. We have reason to believe there may be a link to Hughes Aircraft. I'm sorry, I can't help you there, detective. Without authorization from Military HQ, you won't be allowed onto this facility. What seems to be the problem, gentlemen? Hey, 
Bates. You're not still with the LAPD. Right so, Bates. Can you help us out here? Sure. What seems to be the problem? We're working the big explosion at the electroplating plant. We found a part there that belongs to one of your planes. I work head of security for Mr. Hughes now. I'll take full responsibility. I'm sure we can clear this up. Follow me. It's the big hangar. You can't miss it. Who is Mapes? And what's his connection to Howard Hughes? Vernon Mapes used to work advice. Word is he runs fuck pads for Hughes' starlets. A pimp. Earl and Mapes would seem. Mapes was the role model for creeps like Earl. Follow me. Good day, miss. Nothing really fly? Mr. Hughes believes so. Amazing, isn't she? Oh, this is the spruce girl. Jesus Christ, Biggs, you want to get me fired? Mr. Hughes hates that fucking name. It's the H4 Hercules to you. You mind answering a few questions, Mr. Mapes? Call me Vernon, kid. Fire away. Do you know anything about the explosion that happened at Nicholson Electroplating this morning? No more than anyone else. Heard the boom while I was shaving. Almost shit my pants. Thought it was Pearl all over again. But you had no personal contact with any of the employees. And you have no idea what caused the explosion. I'm in security. I handle Mr. Hughes's personal interests, if you get my meaning. I'm not directly involved in manufacturing. Do you know Tomiko Akamato? Never heard of the broad. Why? You don't happen to wear an LAPD tie pin, do you, Mapes? Sometimes. I have a couple of them from my days on the force. Do you know the chief chemist at Nicholson Electroplating, a Harold McClellan? I've heard of the guy. He was pitching some fancy process to the company. We know that you were sending parts to Nicholson for testing. The question is whether you were going through Nicholson or cutting your own deal with McClellan. Interesting theory, kid. How are you going to prove any of that? We found a prop spinner in the wreckage. We believe it belongs to this aircraft. We sent them some aluminum parts to test. Howard and the Boffins were interested in this guy McClellan's theories. McClellan was cutting out Nicholson. That's not our problem. Thanks for your help, Mr. Mapes. Do you mind if we have a look around while we're here? Sure. Knock yourself out. You want to take a look inside her? And her? Hughes have her on contract to RKO? Yeah, I bet he does. Is that a Pratt & Whitney 4360? Sure is. You know your motors. Do you mind if I take a look at the prop spinner? We're getting her ready for sea trials, so be quick about it.
what is the oily covering on the metal? We coat the aluminum parts in linseed oil to preserve it from oxidization. Cullen's process was going to replace all this. Latitude 24 degrees, 15 minutes north. Longitude 76 degrees, zero minutes west. Seventy six degrees west, twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Seventy six degrees west, twenty four degrees, fifteen minutes north. Let's see where this is exactly. The Bahamas. Somebody's already got their maiden flight planned. Let's see what Pinker has for us. He's probably done tinkering with that camera by now. Thanks for the tour, Mapes. Always happy to help the department. Hey. Don't I know your face from the papers? You're the cop that's stripping that German broad. Nah, I think you got the wrong guy, Vernon. was selling his new process to Hughes and cutting out Nicholson. Looks that way. This would never go all the way to Hughes. Well, a little bit like this. Someone like Mapes? The word middleman was invented for guys like Mapes. Separated from the kids, folks. They're fine. They've got their mother and they've got each other. What about you? What about me? What have you got? A friend of mine is helping me through it. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to stop him with one round. What the hell? Hey, Cole. You're not winning any popularity contests upstairs, you know. Where do you stand? I think you're a good cop, but I try and stay out of politics. Everybody tries to stay out of politics, Ray. Well, don't quote me on it. But I'm hoping that Parker will get the job and clean this place up. I have your photographs. You can use the magnifier. There's quite a lot of detail. 
Very funny. I think you're right, Ray. We have our man. You take a nice photo, Phelps. Bringing the watcher a match for our John Doe. He's obviously the competitive bid. Can you get this over to Lockheed so we can get a name for this guy? It's already on its way. Howard Hughes, millionaire, industrialist, aviator, and playboy, and Vernon Mapes, ex-dirty cop and business fixer. I found a similar tie pin along with a dead guy in a fridge. Excellent photography, Tomiko. So Tomiko had the goods on McClellan. Too bad they blew the place to hell. Is this McClellan? Can anyone make out the street number behind him? Are you kidding? With my eyesight? You know you've got it made if you can get to that desk. Cole, can you help me with a little experiment? Use the eyedropper in front of you. One drop from each of the bottles on the desk. Place the drops in the Petri dish. It's okay, guys. Just a little experiment. Can you guys knock it off? Everyone's still jumpy from that bang this morning. Very funny, Ray. You just took a couple years off my life expectancy. Did the same trick to me about an hour ago. So that was the stuff that caused the explosion? I think so. Acetic anhydride is almost as explosive as nitro. And when mixed with perchloric acid, it's very unstable. It needs to be cooled constantly. We used linseed oil. You could add any organic compound to trigger an explosion. Three little drops. Yeah, and they were using a hundred gallon vat. McClellan's patent application. So we have McClellan raising a patent and selling to Hughes and Akamato copying the details for Lockheed. Where does that leave Nicholson? With a great big hole in the ground. Can't spare any time. I've got to prepare an evidence brief. Case was thrown out. Now the DA won. Stinks of petroleum. Avgas, if I'm not mistaken. <clears throat> it's all around the floor.
Angstrom is flying today on TWA. Angstrom is dead, Cole. Why leave your ticket behind? Nips is cleaning up. Angstrom and McClellan are the same man. The gas, Cole, the gas! We gotta get out of here right now! Look, by the stove! Shoot the gas! Oh, we're out of here! There you are, shit heel. Come on, he's not getting away from us. Don't leave me hanging out here, Phelps. Move in. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Enough games, folks. Take this guy out. Security man, Cole. Stay on mates. Knock them off the road if you have to, but stay on that fucker. Smash the son of a bitch's rear wheels. Go! Oh, you gotta get me closer! Keep it steady and I'll try to bust his tire. To go through all the security men first. I hope you're ready for a fight, Aim Cole. The tires. Throw out the guns. How long do you think you can hold out? I'm covering you! Ah! Ah!
Find some cover! Stay in cover! I got you! Stay down. You're gonna have to explain this to me again. So the guy at the chemical plant, he's planning on selling his magic formula to another company and skipping town with his assistant, but he blows himself up before he can manage it. So why the dead body in the refrigerator? Mapes, Captain. He was eliminating all competitors for the process. When it went bang, he burnt down the apartment to remove all connection between Hughes and the plant. Mapes, right. I remember Vernon Mapes. The guy had good, honest cops hanging their heads in shame. Glad he's finally out of commission. I don't know if it'll do you any good, Phelps, but between the spruce goose and half the city exploding, you might just have made the case of the decade. Good morning, Doctor. And a good morning to you too, Elsa. You look radiant. Thank you, Doctor. We haven't been seeing much of you lately, Elsa. You've been missing appointments. I'm sorry, Doctor. I've been feeling much better. That's very good to hear. And what has brought about this improvement? It's the new man in my life. He's convinced me to fight my addiction. Ah, the policeman from the newspapers. How has he coped with his fall from grace? He can finally see things from a human perspective rather than the ivory tower he created for himself. It's making him stronger. It's making me stronger helping him. You wouldn't make a bad analyst yourself, Elsa. Should we swap seats? <laughs> We're both finding we have a lot to live up to. And what is that? In my case, Lou. He went through hell along with me and still came out smiling. In Cole's case, his friend. Kelso. Kelso? You've heard of him? No, uh, I just like the sound of his name. Cole and Jack are working on a case together. Is Jack a policeman too? No, he works for the district attorney. What? He's a special investigator. I thought you didn't know him. I have never met the gentleman in question. He has been looking into Lou's case. Cole thinks it might be linked to some fires he's investigating. You look pale, Doctor. It's cold in here, Elsa. I think I'll close the window. Why are you looking at me like that, Elsa? You arranged for Lou to work at Elysian Fields, Doctor. Your fears are unfounded. I meet many people in my line of work. There are many ways that people can be helped. Finding them work is just one of them. I don't believe you, Doctor. I've seen you with Monroe at the club. 
I'm sorry that you have come to that conclusion, Elsa. I've always so enjoyed our conversation. I can see your future, Elsa. And Cole, the policeman. And Jack, the investigator. It's an unfortunate and grisly end. I've come to help you, Doctor. To help you cross over. All your sins will be forgiven. In the next life. It's gotta be one of these places. The arsonist's a bug sprayer. He must have worked at one of these joints. Help you? How many guys you have working here, Pop? Who's asking, son? It could be official or unofficial. Depends on how you want to play it. You should get to a hospital, son. That arm of yours appears to be letting in daylight. Save the pity for the other guys. They're the ones who need it. I'm looking for a big cowboy who works pest control. Does he work here? We don't have anyone like that here. You sure? I'm not the type of guy you want coming back. Yeah, I'm sure. What have you got? Looks like a drug overdose. Get away from him, Phelps. This is my case. Shut your fucking mouth. Since when does a bag man work a case? I knew this creep wasn't on the morphine heist. Victim of his own product. Hey, detective! Can we back it off a notch? This is getting out of hand. There's a time to talk and a time to shut up. Now is the time to be quiet, son. Courtney Sheldon was a corpsman, Roy. He served his country. He went out with a medical kit and an Army 45 into places that made the Valley of Death look like a picnic. He was either naive enough or dumb enough to get involved in the Suburban Redevelopment Fund, along with the mayor, the DA, Monroe, and a certain crooked cop. He was involved in the morphine heist, but he has a puncture wound in his jugular, which makes this a murder case. He was a better man than you'll ever know. You say one more word about him and I will blow your fucking head off! You finally lost it, partner. I have a pretty good idea why Sheldon is dead. And I know about Monroe. Your vast, corrupt future is draining away as we speak. <laughs> I got better things to do than argue the rub with you. Stay with him until the coroner gets here. Make sure technical services bags the evidence. If you let this creep anywhere near it, I'll come looking for you. Yes, sir. You know, Phelps, you're not the worst asshole going around. Thanks, Herschel.
I work for the DA. I'm looking for a big cowboy who does extermination. Anyone like that working here? Well, I wouldn't want to get anyone into any trouble. We could do this the hard way. An address? Yeah. He lives in a bunkhouse on the remains of the old Rancho Rincon. Thanks. Cole, you made it. What's this got to do with me, Rusty? Dr. Fontaine, prominent shrink. Dead in his patient's room. Spine snapped like a twig. The suspect is one of his mental patients. I've met Fontaine. His last patient was Elsa Lickman, Cole. She's missing. <laughs> Nurse said that she saw some big Boris Karloff type carry her out of here. The best thing that you can do to help me, Rusty, is let me take a look around. Sure thing, Cole. This way. Looks like Fontaine has finally dispensed his last treatment. Take your time. I'll give you and the doctor some privacy. So much for your foresight, doctor. Fontaine was having the houses burned from Monroe. Monroe wasn't happy. People started dying and it attracted attention. He and the doctor lost control. Destroyed by a monster of your own creation, Dr. Fontaine. I've heard that story somewhere before. is burning down our houses. Keep your voice down, Leland. Control is of the essence. Keep your voice down. Do you know how much these sons of bitches charge for lunch? Fuck them. Leland, we will not solve our problems by announcing them to the general public. We only speed ourselves on our way to the gallows. He's your imbecile, Harlan. Get him under control or get rid of him. Speaking of which... I've had to dispose of our young medical student. What? You certainly are a cold character, Harlan. He has a friend called Kelso who knows all about the development on Normandy Avenue. I know about Kelso. And you thought it unimportant to inform him? I thought I could take care of it. And have you? No, I haven't. Kelso works for Benson. Is he reliable? No, he's totally unreliable. But he has so many pernicious habits, he's got nowhere to run. Can you take care of Kelso? Don't push me, Harlan. Get rid of the fruitcake. No longer necessary. I'll take care of Jack Kelso.
good doctor has been marking this map. Edgewood Grove, McCarthy Vista, Crescent Heights, Rancho Escondido. Do those names mean anything to you, Herschel? Yeah. How come? New houses all being built in the path of the freeway? Jack was wrong. It's not about insurance. It's about eminent domain. What are you talking about, Cole? The government reclaims the land in the path of the freeway and pays the improved value of the land with the new houses sitting on it. What about the stiffs who paid their deposits? Worst case, they get their money back. But the syndicate pockets millions on the improved value of the land. So where does Jack's boss come into it? He's the key. He carries the insurance. The insurance proves how much the houses are worth. And they're worth nothing? Firewood. All of them. That's about as neat a scam as you could imagine. How are we going to prove any of this, Cole? Doctor's dead, and Roll nearly bled to death. If they get Jack... We need the firebug. The Okie Cowboy. Get him, get Elsa. Get him, get all of them. Nobody's home. Most guys bring home a 45 or an M1. This is pretty extreme. Quite a flock you got here, kid. A strange obsession. The river tunnels. This guy's a tunnel rat. I know those faces. Jesus Christ, I know every one of them. Oh my God, Ira. You poor backward son of a bitch. Peterson, I'm going to need some help. I've got Monroe, Fontaine, and all the others. It's all tied up nicely. It goes all the way to the top. Meet me at the LA River Tunnel entrance just north of the First Street Bridge in half an hour. Don't ask questions, just be there. This is DA's investigator, Jack Kelso. I have an urgent radio message for Detective Cole Phelps. KGPL. 11K, we see the man. A 207 just occurred on the spillway north of the First Street Bridge. 
DA's investigator Jack Kelso reports a kidnapping suspect out standing in the LA River tunnel system with a hostage. 11K and a tree. What the hell is Jack playing at? It's like a suicide note. Half the LAPD will be down there hunting for us. We need to get there first. All units on all frequencies stand by. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit of suspect vehicle heading southwest on Sunset Boulevard. Suspect vehicle belonging to Jack Kelso. Described as a Navy Chevrolet Fleet Line. License number 4, William 0286. Car 86 Adam is in pursuit. I picked up his car. I'll need help to make it to the river. Jesus Christ! How many cops are these guys own? All units, all units. We have a new suspect vehicle. Shot number one three five one six. Repeating. Shot one three five one six is a second suspect vehicle. Described as a green Hudson Commodore. License three Sam zero one zero two. Reported to be aiding suspect Jack Kelso. Use caution and continue pursuit. All units, stand by for further. Peterson, assistant DA. What's he doing? He's here, here to cover our backs. I'm going in there, Jack. No one's trying to stop you. I found this at the ranch house. He's marked his routes. I'll go in here. Cole, you take the next entrance. Biggs, I need you to take the car and cover this spot here. I think that's his failsafe exit. Cole, he's one of ours. What are you talking about? Right where you are. Got it. Got it. Peterson, you want to be DA? We'll earn your salt. So, Kelso is your boy, Peterson? And working with Phelps? A handy lad, that Kelso. Yes, he is, Chief. You can't imagine what those two have uncovered. It could go all the way to the top. I hope you won't be implicated. So, you're the new broom, Peterson? Looks like it. And you think he'll make it out of there alive? I think he might. He's a difficult boy to get rid of. All right, Peterson. I'm listening. What's your offer? Keep on going, Jack. That's a big satchel. You're fucking fucked. Ah! 
How long do you think you can hold out? You're surrounded and your buddies are dead! Water's rising.
Are you okay, princess? I felt better. He saved me from the doctor. Hi, Tex. Do you remember me? I'm not sure that I do. Have you come here to kill her? Why would I do that, soldier? Isn't that why you're all here? I'm here to get her out. Her. But not me. You haven't come for me. No, not you. It ends here. You were with the sixth on Sugarloaf, weren't you? I was. And Naha? Yes, I was. You're Sergeant Jack Kelso, aren't you? Where's your uniform, Sarge? At home in my locker, Hogaboom. War's over, soldier. I know that, Sarge. I'm fighting a different kind of war. I fight for God now. We all fight for God, Ira. In our own ways. Not everyone knows it. Elsa! Are you all right? Get away from her! It's all right, Cole. He doesn't want to hurt her. Ira was with us on Okinawa. What? You know this guy? Don't you remember me, Lieutenant? I remember you. No. No. You ordered me to burn that cave, Lieutenant. That cave full of civilians. A hospital. What is he talking about? It was war. For God's sake, I can't be held responsible for everything that happened. I don't blame you, Lieutenant. You helped me to help other people. Ira lost his mind on Okinawa, Princess. Sheldon asked the doctor to help him get back. The doctor helped me to find my path. And I helped him to a better one. Elsa's going to leave now, Ira. She will be all right. You've helped her, too. Get her out of here. Bix will help. His exit is nearby. Jack, I need this guy to make the case. Hasn't this poor bastard given you enough? Get out of here now! For God's sake, Jack! What are you going to do? Don't cry, miss. Sergeant Kelso has come to help ease my way. I was proud to serve with you, Jack. Get out of here, Cole! Maniac! They're burned to a crisp! Finish them off. Do it humanely. We are leaving this place. You do it, Phelps! Get your own fucking hands dirty! Ah! I'm out of morphine! Ah! Help! Ah! Ah! Put these people out of their pain. Now! That's an order! Everyone out of here now. Double time! You two get Lieutenant Belt to an aid station. Weapon team will be blowing this place in two minutes. Everything that happened in here stays in here. Do you hear me? I don't want to ever hear another word about it. He killed that man! He's doing him a favor, Elsa. Cole, up here! I'll get this great Hurry, hurry! The water's rising! You're first! Hand her up! Get out of here! You're not Jack! I'm not arguing! You're wounded, Jack! Let me help! What are you waiting for? Jump, Cole! Jump for it! I...
We're gathered here to honor Detective Cole Phelps. Cole Phelps was the best kind of man. Here, here. A war hero who led his men with true valor and through his personal bravery achieved one of his country's highest honors. A cop wrongly accused who never lost his faith in the LAPD and the system. Mine! You belittle his memory. Elsa. Get out of my way, Jack. You call yourself his friend. A detective who fought to expose the evil corruption of the murderous Dr. Fontaine and the rapacious property tycoon Leyland Monroe. Go to her. Will you, Herschel? A reformer. You were never his friend, the need Jack. To remove the odd bad apple from a department I guess you're right. made up of good men. Herschel? A man who never gave up. Yeah, Jack. Who continued I was never to his fight enemy. the good fight. I think you knew that, Jack. The fight that cost him his own life. A good husband. A good father. And may I say, a good friend.